Hello people, Night Jade here. Today I'll be doing a sequel to my KSP editing program, only this time I'll be doing it a little bit more in depth. So open up your KSP directory and go to the version of your choice. I'm using 0.18.1 .1 as on my system 0.18.2 .1 is not stable. So first thing we'll do is we'll go into the saves file, open up yours with persistent, just right click open with and select notepad and it should look like this scrolling down we have the list of kerbals here so let's just demonstrate how this works by renaming Jeb awesome Bill can now be cool and Bob fantastic now don't forget to save by control S and now just close that and go back into your directory so now want to open up parts previously I didn't do anything about the specific impulse of the engine so today I'll be demonstrating how to make a new one let's take nuclear engine control C control V to copy it rename that nuclear engine 2 open it up go to parts right click open with notepad should be looking somewhat like this so where it says atmospheric curve here just put on a couple more zeros and as for thrust don't go above 1500 when I demonstrated last time I put the Xenon engine up to 5000 and it kept breaking I believe the shear point is about 1500 so I'll put this to 1000 uh, let's have a look at this title Oh yes, I must remember, change the name as well to Nuclear Engine 2, otherwise it will conflict with the original Nuclear Engine and you'll get some strange results such as stats being swapped, weights, etc. Manufacturer, me. And description, over 9000. Oh, hang on, it's done something there that I did not want it to do over 9000 like that so just check the rest of the stats gimbal range 10 the gimbal is how far the thrust can be directed away from the central axis to help turn the craft so that will be useful I'm going to increase the ISP even more just because I can now let's have a look I believe that's everything I need for this one so save control s and close this it should all be ready to load so close that and let's load up the game as demonstrated here and i'll skip to the sph so here we are in the space plane hangar with this generic craft demonstrating the old nuclear engines as you can see uh, delta v Delta means change in and V is uh, the universal symbol for velocity, which at this level you can call it speed if you want, but there are some discrepancies. Surface TWR is 0.6, so let's have a this. Dis manufacturer of mead description over 9000, so you want to put that down here. Atmospheric delta V, 1000. So let's put the new engines on. Look at that, TWR is now 10. Delta V is ludicrous. The burn time is more than three days. So let's go take this out for a spin then. Also, the stats are from Mech Jab. So yeah, let's go take this out for a flight. And as you can see, we've got fantastic Kerman in the seat. So let's get the engines fired up. Whoopsie! Eject. <laughs> Right, let's have another go, shall we? Right, this time I'll be a little bit more conservative with the throttle.
let's just see how far this gets before it just completely rips apart. As you can see, very fuel efficient. Sod this. Orbital operations transfer to the MUN. We There's the MUN. Oh fine, I'll do it myself. Oh, this is a bit slow. Let's unlock the gimbals. That might be why. Stupid me, I'd left the SAS on. into deep space deep 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 space oh see you fantastic Kerman bye and finally one last thing going back into the saves persistent I find that this is the best way to clear up large quantities of debris that's floating in orbit rather than using the painfully slow method of one by one disabling or deleting bits of debris in orbit via the tracking center or station I can't remember what it's called just select all of this and delete it There we go, save that. We'll have a look at the tracking station now. And now, the tracking center. There's no debris anywhere. Awesome Kerman in his stellar flight, it's gone. Jeb Kerman, who was on the moon, now gone. Everything's gone, I didn't have to click through deleting it one by one. So I hope this video has been helpful. See you next time.